Hey everybody, Mark here. I uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm going to be starting a new series of videos. Um, I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube, a lot of YouTube channels about uh, how to create an ecosystem in a jar. So what I've been doing is researching those. One of the biggest channels that I've been watching is Life in Jars. I'll put a link to that website, to that uh, YouTube channel. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the coast today. I live in Portland. So I'm going to drive over to Gearheart, Oregon, to the coast. Um, I'm going to dig up some sand, some uh, salt water, um, hopefully some plant life as well, or twigs or something like that. And basically I'm going to create a salt water self-contained ecosystem in a jar. So I'm um, going to do a series of videos on that with you know, monthly updates, that kind of a thing to see what kind of life I might uh, get in those jars. So uh, without further ado, let's go to the coast. Mm -hmm. So when I got to Seaside today, we're driving through and saw this large herd of elk. Uh, that just had congregated in this uh, soccer field, which was uh, kind of a rare thing to see. And a lot of people had pulled over to see this, so we did the same and took this video. Just north of Gearheart, Oregon, uh, is the beach where I decided to collect the sand and uh, ocean water and got to the beach and because of the COVID-19 threat, uh, all the beaches were pretty much empty, including this one. I dug up the sand with the water. Um, unfortunately, I dropped the jar the first time I had water and sand in it, uh, which was horrible. Um, but what ended up happening was I went back out, did um, another scoop up of the sand, scoop of, of the water, and the first batch had nothing in it. The second batch, as soon as I looked at it, I mean, just look at all of the teeming life in this jar that I just scooped up just from one crashing wave. Absolutely phenomenal. Driving home and get home, put the uh, jar on my windowsill, and this is just showing how much life is in this jar. Uh, it is quite, it, it's considerably calmed down since I put it on the windowsill and the water's not moving around a lot, uh, but just look at all those crustaceans and whatnot. If anybody out there can tell me exactly what I have in the jar, that would be awesome. Uh, they didn't come off of the shells, the shells I just put there for decoration, uh, but I did pick those up at the beach as well. So if anyone can tell me what kind of life I have in that jar, that'd be awesome. I'm going to keep updating as the days go by, uh, just to let you know kind of what I see in the jar. Hopefully uh, I get other life besides those crustaceans. Uh, that'd be quite cool to see something that might emerge from the sand. Um, but basically what I did is I just picked up sand, the ocean water, um, and then a couple clams or clamshells that uh, were intact that I thought were kind of cool. So that way I have uh, a little bit of aesthetic value to the jar as well. Put it on my windowsill. Uh, doesn't get direct sunlight except for a little bit in the morning. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad as far as what life is in there and not burning them out, uh, so to speak. But again, I'm not uh, a scientist. I don't know too much about this stuff. I just thought it'd be kind of neat from the videos I've watched. Um, I do have a Patreon uh, account. If you, you know, like what you see, definitely uh, let me know. Um, I'd love to show you some more stuff. I, I would love to uh, do some more ecosystems, some more self-sustained ecosystems down the road. Um, so any help that you can, that you can provide me would be amazing as well. Um, and, you know, help as far as Patreon or just, you know, sending me some notes. That'd be awesome. Uh, anyways, I'll see you next time. Take care.